Hello folks, my name is Kyle Castillo. I am the Florida West Coast Project Manager for Sobaco. We would like to take a moment to congratulate you on your new home purchase at Vanderbilt Reserve in Naples, Florida. We're making this video in an effort to try and help educate you on some of the major items that can cause damage and help in proper maintenance. Now these items are covered at homeowner orientation, but a lot of information is given out at that time and we feel this may help you if you need a further education on the matter. This is your water backflow preventer. This and the water meter are provided by Collier County Public Utilities. If you have a water leak here or from here back, you will want to contact Collier County Public Water. From here forward, that is on the homeowner and our builder. If there is a leak from here to your home, you will want to shut the water off. You have two water shutoffs. You do not have to shut off both. Shutting off one will be sufficient. Just simply turning the handle here to shut it off, turning it this way to turn it back on. In addition to the water shutoffs at the backflow preventer, there is also a shutoff at your home. This will shut off the water to your home also. And if you have a leak inside the home, you can shut the water off here. To do this, all you have to do is turn this handle and that will shut off the water to the entire home. If this handle does not work and does not shut the water off, that is where you can go to the front at the backflow preventer and use one of those two handles to shut the water off. To turn the water back on, you simply turn this handle slowly, allowing water to pressurize in the inside lines until the water is back on fully and you are done. This is your four inch sewer clean out. For the first 30 days from the time of close, Sobelco will warranty any clogs or any issues that you may have with your sewer lines. After that, this is important to know, if you do have a clog in your home, you will want to, if you have sewage backing up into the home, you will want to come out and take a pair of channel locks and remove this cap. What that will do is it will release the pressure and allow the sewage to stop backing into the home will be coming out here, so you will want a pair of gloves and you will want to move quickly, but it will stop the sewage from coming up into the home. This goes out to the six inch clean out at the street, at which time you can either snake it if you want to do it yourself, if the backup's into the home coming out, or if it's here going out to the clean out, or you can call a plumber, or you can call our service line. But you will want to do this if it's causing you issue and backups in your home. The main electric panel to your home is located in your garage. Every breaker in here has a number that corresponds to it. That number is over here on this white sheet and it tells you what room it goes to and or what outlet it goes to. If you're gonna be working or you're going to be having a licensed electrician work in any of these rooms, this will be very helpful to know because it tells them what breakers to turn off. If you have a lot of things plugged into using the kitchen as an example, it may trip a breaker. That will happen if you have overloaded this breaker. You will want to unplug those items before you turn this back on or it will just continue to trip. You, after you unplug them, you will come back out here, flip this breaker back on, and then plug them in individually to know where the point is that it trips it. Looking at it right here will tell you that it is off and you will turn it back on. Now we're gonna talk about the laundry room. The home does not come with a washer and dryer. So I would like to show you some items in your laundry room for hookup of a washer and dryer. In your laundry room, you have your dryer vent here. It does have a piece of blue plastic over it. That is put there for a blower door test. We as a company leave it there because we don't see any need to be losing AC through this hole. When you do get a dryer installed, whether it's you or a paid professional, they will need to remove this and install the dryer vent here so that it vents properly. In addition, the washing machine hookup does have a knockout that either you or a paid professional will need to knock out and then hook up the hoses to the corresponding hot and cold so that your washing machine will work properly. These are GFI outlets. 
They're simple and easy to identify because they have two buttons here. One is a test, one is a reset. Down here you will see a green light on that lets you know that this outlet is functioning properly. GFI outlets are located on the exterior of your home in, in any wet areas. The strange thing about this is just because you don't see these two buttons doesn't mean it's not a GFI outlet. In the bathroom, in the master, and in the upstairs bathroom, those are tied into the powder bath. So if you overload one of those, it will trip this GFI in the powder bath. Simply looks like this. Once it trips, this sticks out and that green turns to red. When you reset it, you push it back in, that red turns to green. Much like if you trip a breaker outside, you will want to unplug things because if you go to reset it, it will not reset if it still has the items plugged into it that tripped it. At the outside of the home, we covered shutting water off to the whole house. Now water causes the most damage and it does it rather quickly. Under every sink and at the toilet, you have a water shutoff valve. Here you have two, one hot, one cold. This shuts the water off from this hose to the faucet. And this shuts it off from this hose to the faucet. In the event there is a leak in this area, you will want to shut the water off. Yes, this is covered under your warranty. However, you do want to take precautions to not cause more damage to your home. It is simply turning this valve to shut it off. Have no water. Turn the hot water one back on to turn on the hot water. Cold water one back on, turn on cold water. And you have water. The same is behind the toilet. You will just turn the valve and it will shut it off if you have a leak from that point to the toilet. Your home does come with a home security system. Upon closing, you'll want to contact Vitex. They are the security system company. They will schedule an appointment, they will come out, they will hook the system up, and they will help educate you on it. In addition to that, it is a smart home. The front door lock, the garage door, and the thermostat can all be controlled through one app. Vitex will set that app up, and it will control those items as well as the security system, and they will educate you on that and how to operate it. The air handler for your AC system is going to be on the second floor. This is the air handler here. Your air handler houses your air filter. You will want to change that on a very regular basis. Your air filter is located on your air handler. It is right here. You will pull these two, two tabs back. You will remove this. You will pull this air filter out. This should be changed on a very regular basis. I do mine once a month. It is a small cost to help keep a large cost running properly. Once you put the new one in, you put the cover back on, snap it into place, and it is good to go. At your air handler, there's a condensate line. This line runs to the outside of the home. We will go out there at a later time and show you how to clean that line. If this condensate line gets clogged or gets backed up, it will cause water to fill up in here which will cause this float switch to rise and shut off your air handler. This is a safety mechanism so that water does not start leaking all throughout your home. This is a homeowner maintenance item. You will need to purchase a small vacuum from any of the hardware stores that you like to frequent and suck it out the condensate line, which we will show you how to do outside. In addition to the shutoff switch here, you have a secondary one in this pan. In the event that this does not function properly and water starts to fill up this pan, the shutoff switch here will rise and it will shut off the air handler. As I mentioned downstairs, your home does come with a smart thermostat. It is a Nest thermostat. When you do contact Vitex, they will show you how to operate it as well as hook it up to the one app I mentioned previously. In each bedroom, you will see one upside down outlet. It is done by design. It is not an accident. That outlet is controlled through the switch on the wall. 
If you were to plug a lamp into that, when you would want to come into the room, you would just turn this switch on and the lamp would come on. Turn it off and it would go off. We also install a keyless with a light bulb at the ceiling. This is to let you know that that is working and functioning properly. If you install a fan on your own and find it not working, it's not because power doesn't go there. Um, it's just a way for everyone to know that it is functional. This is where the condensate line that we discussed at the air handler comes out. Water will be coming from the air handler, dripping out of here. This condensate line you will need to maintain. It is very simple to do. You get a small vacuum such as this. You will simply hook it up to the condensate line, placing it over it like that. Plug the vacuum in, turn the vacuum on. You should let it run for about five minutes. What that's doing is taking out any sludge that's going to fill in this line. They do fill with sludge. It is a maintenance item you will have to perform. If you do not want to perform this, you should employ a company to perform this service for you. If you do not employ a company to perform this service for you, you will be calling someone at some point for an emergency service. These lines do fill up with sludge and it is simply a maintenance item that something needs to be done about. Mm -hmm.